Adding a collection in Islandora 8 is much like adding any other Islandora content. Collections are Drupal nodes. So we go to Content, Add Content, and we'll add a repository item just like we would if we were putting up a picture or a video. We'll give this a title. I have a lot of cat pictures in my demo collection, so I'll make myself a cat collection. And I will give it a short description. I'll say this is a bunch of pictures of cats. Now the key thing here is instead of this being an image, we're going to let Drupal know that this is a collection. And then we save. So we've built ourselves a cat pictures collection. And now we need to put some things in it. So we'll go to our content again and we'll find some of the items that are already in our Islandora repository. I'll take this jumping cats image, um, which is using the OpenSea Dragon viewer. And we'll go in and we will make this image a member of my new cat pictures collection. I got a nice type ahead there so I don't have to type out the whole thing. Save that. And now when I go back to my cat pictures collection, I will see it has one child object. So we're going to want to add more objects to this collection. And instead of going in and doing them one by one, I'm going to use a little batch edit view I built for myself, which we'll cover in another video. And I'll go find all of these images that have the subject of cats. And I'm going to perform a batch action on them to add them all to my collection at the same time. So I'll modify field value. I want to change the value in the same field across all of these objects. In this case, the field I want is member of. And now I can go and say cat pictures and have that apply to all of the items that I selected. And that'll take a moment to run in the browser. And now when I go back to my cat pictures collection, we see we have all of these items are now listed as children of the collection and this collection view that uh, we get when we uh, use the model of collection on a particular node. Now if I don't like that long unformatted list here, I can very easily change how that view is displayed. So I go into views and I'll find the one that is populating that children view on my collection. And that in this case, it's the members view. And I'll just quickly change that from an unformatted list to a grid. Well, make it feel a little bit more like it did in Islandora 7. I'll apply that change and save my changes. And now we'll go back and have a look at that collection. There's a lot of different ways we could navigate to that collection. I'm just trying to be consistent by using the uh, content and going to this list every time. And now we see our children of this collection have been placed into a grid view. And there's a lot more that we can do with views on collections. Uh, we can even completely replace them. For instance, if we go to the collection view on the Islandora sandbox, we see larger squares, no additional information, and this really fancy looking grid view. And this is all accomplished through using views. To learn more about Islandora 8, including documentation, downloads, and a sandbox where you can try it out for yourself, please visit us at islandora.ca.